Hello everybody, Mass Bandcup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we are taking a look at this APC Back UPS Pro 1500. So it will be interesting to compare how this looks compared to the Smart UPS 1500 that I did a teardown of lately. As this is a Pro version we would expect it to be actually more professional. So let's see what that is. Before breaking into the UPS, we do of course need coffee. And if you like a good high voltage mark like this, check out the link in the description to my little merchandise shop. The front does not yeah, look much different, except the form factor. This is made out of plastic. The normal version, which I assume is also maybe a bit older, is a more yeah, not so tall and a bit wider. On the back side, we can see there is some differences now that the outputs, instead of only 8, we have 10, and we have some source only, and we have some masters. So, some is meant to only handle a very quick power out, and then gets turned off, and then we have some backup outputs as well. External battery pack can be connected. There is a gigabit ethernet protection, there is telephone line protection, and a data port. Um, it says USB and serial. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure if they're using this for USB. Seems kind of weird. The battery port sits here at the bottom. Just two clicks to the side and there's a removable lid. There's a battery connector down there. No batteries, but seems to use the same two cells as we saw in the regular version. There's only six screws at the back. So uh, I'll remove those and let's see if we can remove all the plastic enclosure. And it seems to not exactly just come out as all the plugs and connectors here is, yeah, connected. Inside the battery compartment there is additional two screws and the front can be removed at the bottom just by prying it open with a screwdriver and it had an additional three screws in the front and the whole thing comes apart now immediately we can see that this is nothing like the older version there's of course a control and power, a power supply section we have the relays for switching between load and battery and then inside the cooling tunnel we have the silicon, the bridges, and we have our output inductor sitting here. Help me build this channel by leaving a comment or sharing this video. Leaving comments will get answered. Everything. And that's something that really helps building videos on YouTube is that you are interactive with the video. So thank you if you leave a comment. Down here we have the input voltage. Brown and blue wires goes into the corner here. We have some capacitance and inductance common mode filtering. We have some yeah, transient protection. Over here we have the housekeeping power supply and microcontroller. It is marked 2011 version firmware. So this is 13 years old by now. If we follow the master supply here, that is the orange wire. Controlled by the master is the purple wire and the brown and the other brown down here is the brown here is the backup line and the other one over here is source protection only source protected so that's yeah red black and white goes down along these relays so these are on a shorter timer than the main outputs itself the external battery connection just goes on the other side of the battery fuses, sitting over here at the inverter part. We have the internal battery connection here, two 40 amp fuses. The inductor mounts up with two wires over here, and we have three wires going over here, which seems to be like a center tap transformer, as we have one tap over here near the outputs. And we have the two others sitting over here near the load connectors. 
up around the switch area we have a transformer and we have two relatively small capacitors sitting here up here so it's it's not a huge dc link um, intermediate ups but more like mains frequency modulated inverter as these are only 3300 microfarads at 35 volt dc we do not have a mains voltage dc bus sitting here each of these two towers have four to 220 switches and these over here have one each so these are all rectifiers and these are three lights so these are mosfets and these are most likely mosfets but we will see once we get those out i am a bit unsure what makes this the pro version it could be that we have this yeah gigabit protection interface or yeah i don't know other than that there is not much more components it's actually more compact than the regular user model what we can make out though is that we have the battery input over here the dc link this is a isolation transformer we have mosfets sitting here those were the rectifiers and these are also mosfets these are the output mosfets sits near the 230 volt ac output most likely can also be operated in reverse to charge the batteries that's kind of what schneider or apc has some patents for doing is utilizing the same breads for both charging and yeah modulating into mains again for the output this sits on the output of the transformer the full bridge rectifier and over here it is most likely two half bridges sitting in parallel as all the drains are connected together on all four switches so let's see these battery mosfets or the full bridge two half bridges sitting down here those are rrf 2005 so let's see if that's not something like 50 volt dc at 200 amps maybe something along those lines but we can see now in the data sheet on the screen so i don't think there was too much warranting this being a pro version but uh, yeah we got it to tear down and compare it to the older version which were targeted at consumers and which also makes me think that this being yeah marketed as a pro version is more a marketing thing than an actual engineering thing so thank you for watching and until next time see ya